Good morning, my friends. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is such a beautiful, cloudy and cold day from Baton Rouge. And I will see how long I will last out here because it is getting very cold. But I just love the cold weather. And what's incredible to me is around the world, each one of you is facing another season or different seasons, even though it's at the same time. So enjoy the season you are in. It is a gift from the Lord. So this morning, I'm in chapter 12 of Exodus, and here it is very, very serious because now it's the last punishment God is going to put on the people that were disobedient. But this one is so serious because God is also preparing his people. He is telling them that you also, you also need to be prepared for this night because he tells the children of Israel through Moses and Aaron in chapter 12, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. And then it said, you shall take a lamb for each house that you are in. The lamb will be without blemish. You will take the lamb, keep it for three days. And then in the evening, you shall kill the lamb, take the blood, put it on the two sides of your house and on the upper of your doors. And it says, because this is the Lord's Passover, God was establishing something here with his people at the time, because he said in verse 12, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, the whole land of Egypt, where even the children of Israel were, God had protected them from every other punishment. But this one, they had to prepare themselves because he said, I will smite all the firstborn. Again, in the land of Egypt, the whole, even the children of Israel that were in the land of Egypt. And it said, because I am the Lord and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses that when I see the blood, the blood, I will pass over you. Even the children of Israel had to put the blood of the lamb on their houses at the doorposts so that God would pass over their houses and that they firstborn would not die. When I went to chapter one of John, it is very interesting because that was a picture in the physical where Jesus came to the world. It said, for God so loved the world that he gave his son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life because Jesus became that lamb. He was the lamb that came to die for our sins and that with his blood, we are finding redemption. We are finding new life in our households because when that blood of Jesus is over our houses, then we are protected from the death that is to come to everyone that does not receive Jesus. It is saying the first thing John the Baptist, when he saw Jesus for the first time, they were cousins, yes, but they did not grow up together. And John came before as the forerunner to let us know that the Messiah was coming. It says in verse 29 of chapter 1, The next day John sees Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. So this is how John introduced Jesus to the world when he first came. It said, behold the Lamb of God. And what's interesting is in John um, 14, when he is sitting with his disciples, he is having the Passover lamb because in chapter 
13, it said, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was coming, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. So at Passover is when Jesus, the Lamb of God, was sacrificed on the cross for you and I. And there's got to be a time in our lives. I remember as a seven-year-old, however I understood, for God so loved the world, I gave my heart to the Lord and said, I want this Lamb of God to cleanse me from all my sins. And not only sins that I had then, yes, but all through life now, I can confess them. And because of the blood of Jesus, I am cleansed. Because in Isaiah 53, it said, Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripes, we are healed. And so it says in Hebrews that he is able to save us to the uttermost. This Jesus, the Lamb of God, crucified on the cross, shed his blood so you and I will have everlasting life. Receive him today. If you've never done that, all you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, save me. Father God, I come to you. Cleanse me from all sin that I have and give me this everlasting life. And God has promised if we confess him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Be blessed today.